What is going on everyone? Sauce here with yet another video and today we are talking about the breaking news. Uh, it's actually been about a day or so since this news broke, but it is huge, 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 huge news. So WWE is going to be bringing Raw to Netflix and part of the reason why that is such huge news is because of the fact that it is now ushering in a new era. For WWE and what does that mean so they've been on cable TV for a very very long time and actually Triple H Paul Levesque was actually on the Pat McAfee show recently and he was talking about the move and what all it entails and how excited he was for the possibilities that could happen and I for one am extremely excited for it that means that the era that I was not the biggest fan of is going to be going away. Um, probably for good, or at least for a good long time. So they basically said that it is going to be uncensored. So now Raw, moving forward in January of 2025. So we've got about six months or so left of this era where we don't get as much maybe blood, um, as much censorship, it's going away. Like it's going to be unprecedented. It's going to be uncensored. It's going to be, in my opinion, like the attitude era was. And that's part of the reason why I got back into wrestling for a long time. I was not into it. And part of the reason why is because during the PG era, it was just, um, it, it was definitely unwatchable for me. I literally never tuned in. I never got excited about it. I just feel like the way that people spoke, all the promos, um, kind of the watered-down wrestling, it just didn't make for a very good product, in my opinion. But now, now they are ushering in this new era, and they are just opening so many new doors. I am extremely excited about it because that means that there will be more like swearing, there will be more um, like just the, the censorship that happens right now just kind of waters down the product. Everybody knows that wrestling is scripted and for the most part everybody knows that wrestling is scripted. If you don't know, well now you know. So it's not necessarily fake. It's just, it's scripted. At the end of the day, the reason why this is huge news is because it is going to be blurring the lines of what could be real and what could be kayfabe. And that is excellent news. Uh, part of the reason why that's excellent news is because, at least in my opinion, you guys can drop down in the comments below, let me know what you guys think. But in my opinion, in my personal opinion, I think wrestling is better whenever those lines are blurred. Whenever you're watching people get after it and stuff and start really tearing into each other, uh, promo after promo, wrestling, uh, whenever they're really getting after it, if you can see the passion, if you can feel that there is a hint of realism in there, that's whenever wrestling is at its finest, in my opinion. I don't really like whenever wrestlers have these very PG oriented promos and stuff where they're just saying crap or dang it and stuff like that. Whenever, whenever you can really tell like the human emotion, that's whenever I really buy in. And that is what this new deal is ushering in. And I, I'm so excited about it. And on the Pat McAfee show, actually triple H was talking about, the fact that they have plans currently for what's going on storyline was now and they're already looking toward the future right so this is this is great and anybody that's been watching recently the triple h era the paul levesque era is just mm, it's amazing uh triple h has been doing a fantastic job um it's gotten me back into like full-fledged full force fan and i just absolutely love it so according to a source that I found online, uh, the deal is reportedly $5 billion over 10 years. And Netflix reportedly has the option to opt out of the agreement after the first five years and extend the deal for an additional 10 years. As a result, 
Raw will be moving away from NBC Universal platforms and cable television as a whole for the first time in 31 years. So this whole Netflix deal is going to open up just so many different avenues, so many different things going on, and it is it's going to be it's going to be amazing. If you've been tuning in for the last we'll say 6 months to a year, uh wrestling is is at its peak wrestling is super popular and i think that this deal with netflix is going to bring it to greater heights it's just going to bring in more and more fans i love that especially as a content creator because it's going to reach a bigger fan base it's going to bring about a bigger community and at the end of the day part of the reason why i do these videos is because of the fact that i just want to grow this community i want to see more and more people talking about wrestling because to be honest in my personal life I really don't have a whole lot of friends that like pro wrestling. So it's just going to open up more and more doors. Uh, it's going to be more easily accessible. Uh, we're probably still going to keep Peacock just for the hell of it. But I I am super pumped on this. So with that being said, please drop down in the comments below. Uh, make sure you like this video. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are and chime in if you like this content if you like seeing reactions if you like seeing pro wrestling content if you like vlogs covers all that good stuff make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell for post notifications so you know anytime i post a video i love doing this it's a lot of fun for me but with that being said i really i cannot wait i'm so excited um i really hope that people hop down that comment section and start talking some pro wrestling because Man, it, it's going to be great. And please let me know what you guys think of how Triple H has done so far and what you think he's going to be doing in the future. Uh, let me know what you think the future of pro wrestling is going to look like. All right. Um, with that being said, though, we'll catch you all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.